Do you find yourself wanting to have more success in your business, but you're not sure how to make that happen? Well, I just learned some high performance success tips from Adam Mortimer that I am so excited to share with you so we can implement these together. Now, bear with me. I've got my notes, so I'm going to be reading from those to best share his tips and tricks with my own personal insight. So let's dive in. Uh, the first one that he shared, which is, in my opinion, the most important, and that is having that clarity. So you need to have not just that clear vision of who you want to help and why you got into this in the first place, but you also need to be clear on who you are and why you are doing this. Not just why you jumped into whatever company you're with or selling, whatever the case may be, but you need to know why you chose that. How is it important to you? And be clear on what you want out of it. So if you're feeling brave, I'd love for you to share in the comments. Or if not, totally cool, grab a sheet of paper and jot down whatever answers come to mind. But ask yourself, why did you get into this in the first place? Why do you want to help people solve the problems that you're solving? Why do you want to make the extra income if that's what you're in this for? And just keep asking yourself why until you get that tug in your heartstrings, that why that makes you cry, so to speak, that we hear so often. <clears throat> that will help you get clear. And once you have that clarity, nothing will stop you. You will know who you're trying to help, why you're doing it, and why you get out of bed and show up every single day. And number two is energy. Now, we need energy, we need excitement, but when it comes to energy, it's not just that passion that fuels you, but it is legit energy. We have to take care of ourselves before we can take care of anyone else. I know this is something that I struggle with. I am a people pleaser. I know I'm not the only one, but we need to take care of ourselves. So when it comes to that energy, are you eating the right foods that give you the natural energy? Or are you eating the junk food that is a short-term fix? Are you exercising to, again, give yourself that natural energy and that natural metabolism boost? Are you drinking enough water? Most of the time when we think we're hungry, we're actually thirsty. Or if we are tired, that mid-afternoon slump, having a tall glass of water might be exactly what you need to refuel yourself. Or grab for an apple for some normal, for some natural energy versus that cup of coffee or candy bar. Um, and then also one of my favorite ways to refuel myself is through meditation. Uh, if you're curious about getting started, let me know. I'm happy to share any tips and tricks. Um, shout out to Medito, which is the free app that I got started with for meditating. Also perfect on your phone when you're traveling because you can still keep up with those meditation sessions and you can choose them to be as short or as long as your schedule allows. But that is another great way to give you that natural energy. Um, and I actually start and end every single day with meditation. So not only does it give you that natural energy, it also can help calm you for a better night's sleep. Number three, productivity. Now this is huge for all business owners. We need to manage our time, not let our time manage us. Productivity all comes down to time. So if you are having a checklist or you feel like you are flying by the seat of your pants, this is where you're gonna need help. And that is with productivity. Great way to start is by time blocking. I know so many people out there love having checklists. I also love checking those boxes. It makes me feel so satisfied, but it doesn't help with focus and it doesn't help manage your time. It still is your time managing you and we don't want that. So that's where time blocking comes in. When you create your schedule, block off the non-negotiables first 
Might be that Ara's kids activities, any meetings, if you have a day job, that needs to go on there. That's obviously a non-negotiable. Uh, but block that out first and then figure out when are you gonna work your business and block that. And then look at those blocks and figure out what tasks you will do when. Now we've, they've got an, other trainings on your DMO, your daily method of operation. So check that out if you need ideas on what to do when you're working. Um, but definitely block those times off so you know when you're working, what you're doing, and remove all distractions so that way you can focus on the task at hand and get it done sooner, more efficient, work smarter, not harder. And uh, number four is influence. So this is how you build rapport, not just with a team, but also any clients and potential new customers, potential new business builders, everyone out there that listens to you, that sees your posts on social media, gets your emails, all the things. You need to have influence. So one of the best ways to do this is to lead by example. So when it comes to your team or your potential new business builders, you want to do the things that you are telling them to do. You want to do the things that you are advising them to do. When it's your customers, if you are telling them about a product, make sure that you are being a firsthand user and have that experience. Share what works for you. Share what doesn't work for you. Share the benefits that you're having. No one is perfect. Embrace imperfection and don't be afraid to talk about the bad with the good. As a network marketer, yes, I sell a lot of products. Do I love all the products in our catalog? No, I don't. And I will tell my customers that if I have someone looking at a product that I'm not a big fan of, I'll share why I'm not a big fan of it, but I'll also share customers that do love it. No, no one likes everything. There is always going to be a little bit of bad. You just want to embrace that and share both the good and the bad to make it a true learning opportunity. Number five is to have courage. And this is something that we gain over time by doing. No one is courageous when they try something new for the first time because you've never done it before. So embrace the suck, but be bold and do it anyway. The more you do it, the better you'll get and the more courageous you will get and the more confidence you will get at doing it. So overcome that fear embrace being vulnerable and just do it scared. It'll be okay. I promise. And as always, you know, we are in this together. So you don't have to be afraid alone. You don't need to suck alone. We are all just sucking less a little bit day as life goes on. All right. And the last one is necessity. So this one is a little different. Um, but basically, you want to shift that needle to focus on not just your needs, but also the needs of others. And the best way to do this is by investing in yourself. That could be hiring a coach. That could be committing to a free training every day. This could be all forms of personal development, reading books, listening to podcasts, but Focus on what will help you get better to shift that needle, to become more efficient, to become an overall better person and the best possible version of yourself. Now, if you need ideas on some book recommendations or podcasts, reach out to me personally. I am more than happy to share. I love learning. I love personal development and I have got an ongoing list of some of my favorite books that have helped me. And this is something that you just want to keep in front of you all at all times. So I'd love to know which of these do you need to work on first? Which one will you work on first? Quick recap, clarity, energy, productivity, influence, 
courage and necessity. I know for me, I am going to work on my influence to be a better example for my team and all of you. That is my plan. Feel free to drop yours in the comments and share this with someone else that is also working towards improving their success habits so we can all learn and grow together.